Hi, everyone. We are just going around to thank all of our sponsors for our production last week. We had an amazing um, two performances of The Jungle Book last week, and we'd love to thank all of our sponsors and all the classroom businesses that helped us. Thank you. Shout out to Breakfast. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, best breakfast in town. We have a recycling 109. Thank you. Man, I could really go for a snack right now. Let's go to school store. Let's do it. Thank you, Julia, for then the school store for helping support Drama Club. You're welcome. My pleasure. Sorry, Kathy, that we missed you. Looks like you're out at work as usual. Thanks, 216. Lori. And remember, everybody, get your orders in for Tuesday, June 6th, last Breakfast Club of the year. Drama Club would love to thank all of the SLPs, OT and PT for helping support our production of The Jungle Book this year. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Let's say thank you to Lloyd. And thank you to all the mental health team as well for supporting our Drama Club production of The Jungle Book. Thank you. And we'd love to give a special thank you to Kelly for helping support us throughout the whole year with fundraising for the drama. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Amy, for helping us so much with Drama Club behind the scenes, making all our costumes and our set. I said, um, I bring my favorite teacher, Christian. Thank you again to all of our sponsors. We appreciate you. And we'd like to give a final farewell and a goodbye to our friend Drew here. This is his last Whitney Weekly with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye -bye. See you. Goodbye. <laughs> it's Friday morning. On Leader Hill. That means it's time for Amen, Shooting News Broadcast. You're watching The Whitney Weekly. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Eddie. I'm Safan. You, you are watching The Whitney Weekly. Today is Friday, June 2nd. We have great care. It's our season finale. Today, Michelle and Jill have sign of the week. Courtney asked about summer plans. Mm -hmm. But first, let's visit the Whitney Academy newest club. That's very The Spear Squad is basically our cheer team here at Aces Whitney Academy. We cheer alongside our basketball team and we're really excited to bring the spirit to our school. So the beautiful Thelma started the Spirit Squad. Um, it was her idea. She had a passion to want to bring something for, you know, the kids that may not want to participate in basketball, but want to be a part of something that shows school pride. Sometime last summer, I came up with the idea. Once I noticed that they was having basketball games and I had some girls that were, you know, asking how come they can't, you know, have something. So I came up with, with the idea to form a spirit team for boys and girls. And she petitioned and she worked hard um, talking to our administrators about making this come to fruition. And we got the work done and now we're here. Oh, all they have to do is come and tell me they want to be on. We don't refuse anybody. It's for everybody. The Spirit Squad gives us the opportunity to be happy, to be peppy about our, our basketball team, to be peppy about the events that we're going to have in school. And I think that it bridges the community and get together because not only does the students participate, but the staff joins in and learns the choreography as well. It brings a lot of, like, sister and brotherhood, you know? If they need to talk about something, they know they can come to us. We're a community, we're family. Great job, everyone. Now it's for a sign of the week with Michelle and Jill. Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Michelle. And this is the sign of the week. What's today's weather? 
hot. It's hot. You're right, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, can you sign hot with me? We hold our hand in front of our mouth and go hot. Ah, nice job, Michelle. To sign the word hot, we make a claw-shaped hand. This is a claw-shaped hand. Michelle, can you show me your claw-shaped hand? face it towards our mouth, and then we move it down and away, almost like we're taking something hot out of our mouth. Hot. Oh, Michelle, the opposite of hot is cold. cold. Nice job. It is. It's cold. This is the sign for cold. We make S hands. This is the letter S. We make a fist with our hand, and our thumb comes in front of our fingers. And we shake them in front of us like we're shivering. <sighs> Cold. It is hot. Ooh, you're right, Michelle. It is hot. It's hot. Dang. <laughs> now it's to Courtney with the question of the week. Hi, I'm Courtney for a question of the week. It's finally June. What are your plans for summer? My plans this summer, I'm going to spend a lot of time with my kids because they'll be on summer break too. I'll be here for July and probably do some camping. That's nice. Thank you. I might go to Block Island slash Ward Island for the third time this year. My plans for summer is, you know, working with the kids, of course, but when I have free time, probably hiking, you know, drinking some smoothies, enjoying the weather. What are your plans for summer? Go swimming on the beach. That sounds nice. Well, so, so my child's school friends going to say they're saying happy birthday to me. Well, I'm going to work ESY. I'm going to go on vacation and go to the beach. That sounds nice. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Anyways. Just chilling. <laughs> that was great, everyone. Now it's for today's announcements. Good morning. I'm Jake, and these are our morning our announcements. We are sad that we can't have field day today, but look forward to it on having it during July instead. There will be a lot, a lot of fun activities. Field, Friday, June 9th will be our annual senior luncheon and graduation will be held on Tuesday, June 14th. Congrats, congrats to all the graduates. Come get your car wash on Saturday, June 10th, supporting the Special Olympics. The last day of school is on, on uh, Tuesday, June 20th. 2023. Please, nope. Oh, there is no school on Monday, June 9th, before the Juneteenth holiday. Our July programs will begin in on Wednesday, Ju July 5th. Back to you at the news desk, man. And that's all for today. I'm Eddie. I'm Stefan. And we will see you next school year. Yeah. Bye. Bye. This program has been made possible by a generous grant from the ACES Education Foundation enhancing ACES programs and services since 2003.